Good morning, all. My name is Gustavo Rock. It's a pleasure to be here. Actually, it's the second time I'm here. Uh, last year, I was talking about uh, venture capital investments, and today I'm talking about something with a very strong connection with my personal purpose and with the company purpose. I am the, the head of Future Use. Future Use is one of the activities that is responsible to provide or design or give a new purpose for those areas where one day was a mining operations. And sometimes when you talk about circular mining, we don't think in the, in the territory, in the land, as part of the circularity. We usually just think about the waste, about the products that are generated in our operations. And to talk about the futures, uh, to talk about the future, we need to think about the behaviors that are changing the world, the technologies that are impacting the world. I cannot talk about in a project for some territory in 20 years ahead without considering this. And to talk about this, I need to share the history of Vale. Vale started their operations in 42. It will be completing 100 years in 2042. And looking further, looking for these futures, we decided to design a strategy for 20 years ahead. Thinking not only in the present or in the strategic goals for the next five years, but how can we think in 20 years ahead? So we have these four, growth, these four platforms, and two of them are the circular mining and the nature-based solutions. How can we develop a company, a valley, when achieved 100 years, focus on circular mining and nature-based solutions? And to, to reach 2042, we need to start to develop the present. And this is the mining agreements that we have, and we bring to the present the repurposed waste, the co-products that what we usually think about circular mining, but we have in our strategy, our the future use, the way that we can develop a post-mine model to deliver positive legacy to the communities. So how can we connect everything? How can we bring to the loop of circularity the waste, the co-products, and the future use? And I'm, I'm bringing here, and I'm gonna share just one small example of this. But, to think 20 years ahead, I need to understand, to study, and to go deep on the changing world. And these pictures, I took these in London last year, and it starts to, to got my attention. The, the first one, it's the, the black market, the back market. It's spread all over the, the tubes there, the city. Basically what they do, it's rebuy your product and it starts through recycling. So it's a business that is growing there. But this business, and the second one, the eye smash, and the eye, it's a comparative with Apple. They repair, replace, and recycle the Apple products. So what these businesses are showing, that the consumer are changing their behavior. They are stopping to keep the devices at home and start to circulate this. And the questions that I, I make, usually when I see this, is may the mining sometime be impacted by this kind of behavior? For example, if I have two cars, a Mercedes and a BMW, and one of them, I know the origin of the metals, and I know how these metals will be recycled. May my decision be influenced by this or not? And if yes, would this final consumer impact the mining? Should I have traceability? Should I have a recycling process? May I blend my, my iron ore or my copper or my cobalt with some copper that comes from a country that maybe they have uh, slave workers there, or similar to slave, I don't know. But this behavior of the consumer in the end of line may impact the mind, we believe. The second one, we, we, all the time we see this information and this news about the downtowns, specifically here in the US. LA's, the downtown is empty. Uh, San Francisco, it's terrible there. 
Twitter, Elon Musk decided to, not decided, he tried to uh, open the, Twitter, the Twitter's headquarters to the homeless people there because no one is going to work there and he has a 20 years agreement to keep the, the building. Chicago also, yesterday I saw a, new, a, a news about New York that now they reached 50% of occupancy, 50%. They have 50% empty there. And why I'm bringing this here? If this movement continues, what are gonna happen with the downtown in the large cities? They will be occupied or not? Where are the people are gonna live? They will move to the suburbs or they will move to the countryside? What are gonna happen with these buildings? May my job be the future job, future use for these buildings? I don't know. What is going to happen with the civil constructions if we do not demand more huge buildings or skyscrapers for the next times? How is it going to impact? I don't know. But when I think what to do with a territory 20 years ahead, I need to consider this aspect. The last one, four days week works. Many of the places, many of the countries is studying this. They are considering to implement this. When in the beginning of industrial revolutions and someone started the five days, they did this. In the beginning it was six and they moved it to five. It was like a revolution. Could we move to four days? Chat, DDP, robotics, all the technology to improve our productivity. And if it happens, what are we gonna need for our free time? Leisure? places to go, how are you gonna occupy this? I don't know, but I need to consider this. So how we integrate the circularity that we mentioned in our strategy with these changing behaviors, with this technology that's coming up and is influencing our life? First of all, in 2020, Valley opens the first factors to produce interlocking floors, structures, concrete blocks, ceiling, ceiling blocks, concrete slabs, and shackles. It's made by our waste. It's recovered there. We have this, this factor. It's nothing new. A lot of companies do this. But we are starting the process there three years ahead. Second, our sand. We, are, we have two mines that's producing this, this sand. It's a high quality sand. One of our challenges is that we are having difficult to keep the, the characteristics, the specifications of the sand. Usually you are delivering much better sand than we supposed to deliver. Uh, we need to consider all the aspects that uh, environmentally this sand produce because we're gonna impact those who extract this, uh, sand from the rivers and damage the rivers and everything else. So how can you bring this? And how we communicate for the society, for the stakeholders that we are producing this sand? Last year, we commercialized one million tons. This year, we, we are trying to reach two million tons. It's the best sand producer in Brazil today. Third, oops, cement. This is one startup. This one, it can picture, please. Valley hasn't announced it yet. It's a startup that it's producing a decarbonized geopolymer and it impacts a lot on the civil constructions, the way that we're gonna deliver the cement. We're gonna impact the, our waste. You're gonna change the way that the civil construction is, is doing. So I mentioned here just three cases of products that were developing based our, in our waste. But in the end of the loop of circularity, I have the territory. And here is one case that we are bringing to share.
I will stop here because I just want to give this perspective. Many of the Brazilians here know this place. It's an amazing and unique place. It's a old urban mine operations. It's probably one of the few, if not the only place near to a big metropolis like this. You can see the forest, you can see the pit, uh, which is the deepest pit in, in Latin America. It's almost 200 meters down. It's an amazing place. And how can we connect this territory with the products that I mentioned? So first of all, in the last 20 years, we are trying to give this back to the society. We developed several projects, but usually you look for this project as a whole, the 2,000 hectares. It's quite difficult to give a new purpose for an area like this. So what we decided to do is split the territory because as, as you saw in the video, we have a continuous work being done there to provide the stability of the physical and the chemical stability there. So what we decided to do is sectorize this and bring those products, just back here, we, we are working harder to deliver the sector one this year in September. To do this, we also sectorized the sector one. We did the sector one A, B, and C. We are trying to deliver the A this year. The A is just this part. The, the building one, it's a very emblematic building that has numerous potentials. We are bringing to this place the possibility to have the first open air museum that tells the history of the circular, the circular mine in the world. So we're going to put in this place all the, the, the pavement to be done with our interlocking floors. We will copy the trees that there is on um, the Getty Museum, which is made of iron. We are going to have the sandboxes that with the sand that we produce. We, our outdoor furniture will be designed with the cement and you're going to tell and you're going to tell the histories. The, heli point, the, the heli, heli point used by the executives, we deactivated this heli point and it will become an aqua point using the water from the, the pit. So we're going to have the chance here to connect and to close the loop and tell the histories of uh, circular mining. And here we have just some examples of what we are starting to do, what we are starting to build in there. But as I mentioned, I have two more sectors. It's huge and I need to develop something for the next 10 years here. So what we, we are trying to do is we invited these universities to support us with a process that's called Innovation Olympics. And it's important to mention here because during this week, we heard a lot about innovation and sustainability. Innovation and sustainability. At the value we are calling this, which is not invented by ours, it's not coined by us, innovability. We are trying to bring innovability for the vice president of sustainability. So what we did, we invited these students, they are MBA students from these universities, and they had eight weeks to propose, to search, and to propose business models and solutions that would fit on that territory. So we, we received 25, it's called field of place, but we have since the wellness retreat center, passing through the nuclear energy to the biodiversity with pollinators populations. And all of this has one model. It's a donation, it's a joint entry, it's an investment made by Valley. And we just try to fit, with, with fit, we just trying to work on which fits better for each sector. So just a brief example here. You guys saw the picture of the loop. What can you do there? Sometimes you look for the, the uh, one pile and say, oh, it's nothing can be there. But if you could, oh, that video there. Could you just mute for me, please, the video? It's an uh, old mining of coal in Belgium, and they transformed the loop in like a, a place that the kids can slope down. So they take advantage of the, the work that was being there and transform it in a very innovative place. The second one, uh, could you have in that, uh, the, the larger circle there, bring some competition like a race car with electrifications and using the community, the universities to develop solutions for decarbonizations, for electrifications. I don't know, but they brought this. And the last one, it's the biomass recycling plant. 
we just discovered that near of our territory, there is a big place that three, three cities put the garbage there. And it's a terrible place, you know, environmental issues, health issues. Could we develop this there to support everything that we want? So when we look about circularity, we look for the whole loop, since the waste, the co-products, to the territories. And now what we are trying to design and to deliver for our communities is the history and the, leg the positive legacy that mining needs to live from now. My connections, if you're going to get in touch, please, let's talk a little bit more. It's, uh, as I mentioned, it's, uh, besides the cool name of the job role, it's a very strong uh, job that I have and with a very strong connection with my personal purpose. Thank you very much.